Hello, you guys. Welcome to Journey with Shar on this beautiful, what is this, Tuesday? I think today is the 4th. Beautiful September 4th, 2018, y'all. Evening, I just got off work. Probably about an hour ago, just got home. Y'all, she already jumped in the tub, put on her pajamas, honey, and I am ready to just chill. I'm gonna read my Bible. Um, that's another thing I gotta start talking to you guys about. Um, I can't forget why my channel was, another reason why my channel was created was to discuss my faith. So I gotta get into that. I'm probably gonna come home tomorrow just to let you know what I read for today. Cause I'm gonna read with my mother this evening. My mother, she's getting her glasses. She had to go and uh, return her glasses to get fixed about, with something, to get her glasses fixed and she returned them so she can't read. So um, when I get off work, I come home and I'm reading with her. So anyway, you guys, I'm going to be talking about that soon. My Bible readings. I do the hour daily bread, the in touch, and then I do my Bible readings. Uh, my daily Bible readings and so I will be discussing that with you guys sometime this week. I do want to come to you today um, This is just a real quick little haul because y'all know I love me some re-drumming Okay, so I'm gonna show you the one I, I my son got me a birthday gift um, This was in well, this is a late birthday gift because he was like, you know what? You wanted that for your birthday. Go ahead on and order it. So I did and um, I ordered Reed Drummond's um, her uh, magazines and I was going to wait until I do another um, Pioneer Woman haul but I said you know what I'm going to go and talk about it now because another one came yesterday and I don't want to be like five magazines behind and y'all like girl that was last three months ago girl that that magazine was two months ago so I'm going to go ahead on and talk about the two magazines that I have here and I'm going to show you guys um, the inside of the magazine and I know y'all some of y'all might be like wait a minute why are you showing the inside because you may want to know if the magazine is good is it worth it should you order it you know so i'm going to help you guys out i'm going to show you so the first one that i got this one i believe they come by like seasonal don't get me don't quote me but it says summer so this is the first one that i got in the mail y'all see that one can you see it summer with three drumming okay and then the one that came yesterday you guys is the fall one and uh it says take a tour of Reed's hometown and here we go so this is the one that came in yesterday so we're gonna look through the summer one real we're gonna look through the summer one real quick can you guys see that you can okay so the first page i love because she got a lemonade recipe I love this because she has a lemonade recipe so y'all yes we're loving her for that okay and then she got a fold out it's got you know different little food ideas here okay so we're just gonna go through in that cute she got a cowboy in here y'all the Stetson man y'all know that ain't nothing but a shout out to her husband how cute is that the Stetson man I love the Stetson man okay so this is the content what's all is going to be in this magazine this is the content and then up and Adam she's talking about her ranch um, she's introducing a hello friends you know summer is everything any summer is um, anything and like mine and all this other stuff so y'all can see that for yourself and then let's see she has her signature beautiful prints that she does have on her dishes I love how she keeps it going even with her magazine love that okay and then this is the vintage floral uh, print right here. Okay, and then she has um, different recipes here from different people. Okay. Mm -hmm. She keeps it going over here. Got the cowboy boots here. And then she's talking about um, welcome to the boarding house. I haven't really read this yet, but you guys, I believe that this is her um, new hotel don't quote me but this is the information that is given right here i hope you can see that um i'm just going through this with you so you guys can see what is in this magazine and then she talks about i believe this is when she refurbished let's see is this the oh this might be the hotel she refurbished the hotel because we know she did that with her mercantile store so she's doing that also with this hotel apparently 
okay so yes that is the hotel so that is what it looks like in the inside you guys okay lad's room reed's room i guess this is yeah what that looks like in the inside she's showing you the look and the different um the look and the different decoration she used and probably where you can go and get it the price of each thing each item and then over here she has a pioneer style love that and then we have some makeup l'oreal here and you guys there we go that's what we love her the most for her recipes and her beautiful cookware i do see some of my pieces in here that I have gotten off of my um, that I have gotten from my um, Walmart, and I've shown you guys on my uh, channel. And so these are different. This was about this was about like using sunscreen and stuff, and we need to do that year round, ladies, especially uh, people, especially if the sun is shining. But you need it year round, actually. And so this is um, vintage pearl, is what this is called the vintage pearl is that and then re with frames how cute is this re drumming with different frames which one do you guys like so let me do that slow so that's that one actually re i don't know girl you look good in every single one of them maybe that one's not too much of my favorite maybe that one's not too much of my favorite but other than that, Ree, I'm thinking I'm liking all of them. You you look pretty good. Okay, and then she's showing classic, depends on the day, trendy, um, find your perfect pair. And let's see what else we're going through here. She's showing different outfits here. She's showing different outfits, you guys. I'm just gonna run through this real quick. And you guys know Re is real, this is Re style. She just had her tops on sale that look similar to that one. The long sleeve ones and it's like a velvet, a velvet print one, like a velvet material. And she had them on sale on her mercantile store, y'all, for $15. My supervisor just told me about that. I was like, what? She brought one in the store and it was absolutely, I mean, in the job, at my job, she brought it in. And it is really, really cute, you guys. So go to the mercantile, read Drummond's mercantile store just to see if they're still on sale. So yeah, so that's summer. And then she's just uh, showcasing different people's kitchens. I love the organization of this kitchen, don't you? Love it, and the backsplash is pretty good too. It's not my style, but I like it. It works. Love the organization, and look at this. Oh, welcome home, love it, love it, love it. Okay, and this is like Fiesta wear she has here. Look at that beautiful plate. So. Fun facts about Fiesta wear. Okay, so that's what we, because we know Re loves color, you guys. She is good with incorporating color into her kitchen, her home, and has even inspired us and encouraged us to do the same. I would have never used as much color as Re used in her home, and I have bought so many colorful pieces because, you know, she has showed how you can she has shown how you can incorporate that in your kitchen and it still looks nice classy beautiful yes patio oh y'all who doesn't want to swing on the patio that's my dream isn't that cute so two different ways that you can dress up your patio for the summertime you guys and like i said this is the summer magazine and so we're gonna oh, look at that picture you guys that is an actual um picture isn't it cute and look at this one and then this one as well really really pretty and she's giving recipes different pictures okay and then so her book is really entertaining i wanted you guys to see that like look at this all cow any any of you that collect cow pieces there's canisters cutting boards coasters the butter dish and we know that that's um reed drummond's one of her butter dishes that she sells on the mercantile store um online you guys and we know we've seen this in the in the um world uh, walmart um market we've seen the actual piece and then it's just home cooking oh, 
how delicious is that pie look right and she has the pesto recipe pesto and this is it for those of you that never get this magazine that is a pesto recipe i hope you can see it and then we have another greek pesto salad y'all and look at that that's the greek pesto salad i hope you can see it <laughs> and then this one is a pesto pizza arugula and pr uh, prosciutto yum 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 and so that's that and then she has a pesto caprice panini which is that delicious sandwich right there and then um the family meals y'all know Rhea is good with taking these beautiful pictures this is pretty much how a lot of her um her cookbooks are uh, formatted in that way and so yeah you guys this is grilled chicken with zucchini noodles and then we have this one slow cooker teriyaki ribs that's what that delicious meal looks like and i'm hoping you guys are enjoying this those of you who are not interested <laughs> In this, you could just cut it off and just look at a little bit of magazine. You could just go ahead on and cut it off. But those of you who really want to genuinely see what her magazine looks like page by page, and then you can go ahead on and subscribe and receive your own magazine and uh, get the one that just came out for um, fall, you guys. And so this is the grilled pork with strawberries. Wow, that's interesting. Grilled pork with strawberries. Okay and you know how she shows you step by step each recipe i love that about Ray drummond i think that's what made me fall in love with her um with her blog is that she would take those pictures and then she, recipes and then show them step by step in preparation how each step looks does that not help you when you have a um a magazine or either a cookbook and it shows you step by step how each step is supposed to look it gives you more confidence in making sure that what you're doing is correct i cannot stand those cookbooks that absolutely show no picture i cannot stand that okay and so this is just butterball here and then she's showing top of the class graduation one of her girls that's one of her girls there one of her daughters and just you know you can even do this now even though graduation has um, ended but if you're doing like a teenage Bible study or just a teenage meeting you know kids coming over birthday party gathering slumber party y'all you can do this for a slumber party as well okay yes look at this pepperoni pizza rolls mm, that sounds good really really cute graduation brownie bites how cute is that and then that's her handsome husband, Lad. Isn't they cute? Lad, they are such a cute couple. Okay, and then this one is just showing you um, grilled ribeye, potato bundles. Um, she's showing you just a, a really nice meal. I say a man's meal. It's probably why she had a husband in the beginning of this before we went into this section because this is more like for men, meat and potatoes. Okay, and then we have this there and then she this is a chocolate pie i mean who doesn't like chocolate 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 is always delicious but doesn't that look good you guys and so these are different recipes as well stetson cologne for men oh i guess yeah there we go okay lemon lime tart a citrus spice iced tea honey glazed carrots and orange beef and what i love is on the back of this they have each recipe for each one of those um food um, items i showed you guys okay and that's the stetson so stetson that fits her you know cowboy cowgirls i love that okay so this is the cowboy i don't know about no bacon with no ice cream but okay whiskey maple sundaes okay you guys and that's for the cowboy and then for the cowgirl She's got the blueberry crumble sundae. And that's for the cowboy. So really, really cute. I love the vintage, beautiful. I've seen this, um, that beautiful um, cherry print is on her mercantile page as well. They have um, the uh, kitchen towels in that print. And I'm gonna be getting that soon and I will be doing a haul on those. But y'all, look at this. Cherry uh, 
sherbet. Isn't it pretty? So that's what that looks like, the recipe for that. I hope y'all can see it. And cherry topped cheesecake. And that's what that looks like. And then this one is cherry cookie bars. Mmm. And I'm sure if you don't like cherries, you can always switch, swap it out with whatever is your favorite um, fruit. And this one's the cherry cobbler and cherry pie. Look at that beautiful plate. And then this one was Star Stripes and Forever. This is so pretty. Isn't that pretty? And it's by Ina, you guys, I have that book. Ina Garten, she's another one of my favorite uh, chefs. And so that's Ina Garten. And then this is just the recipe for that. So this book is really, really good. And this is the Pioneer Life. That is her ranch with her dog. And I just love the beautiful prints on the side of the pages. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Just look at that. Oh, amazing. Beautiful, beautiful life. Amazing. Working on the farm. And this is just uh, the wind at her back. I guess this is a story. Uh, an inspirational story. That it ends out well. And I think this magazine is good. You guys love... Who knew that there were so many different types of sunflowers, y'all? Look at that. Are you serious? So, Suntastic, Strawberry Blonde, Mammoth Gray Stripe, Crimson Blaze, Pro Cut Peach, right here, Sun Gold, Soraya, Little Becca, and American Giant. <gasps> you guys, look at that, the many different sunflowers. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. I never knew. Who, who ever knew? So, so far, I give Reed Drummond's Summer Magazine a thumbs up. What I like about it, it has a lot of recipes in there. She's showing you different dishes, different items. Basically, what she's all about. Family, recipes, items, DIYs. Basically, what she's all about. Her family, her hubby. You know, a woman taking care of her man and making sure he steps in and fed well. <laughs> so I, I like it. I, I love it. So Ree, I give you a thumbs up for your summer magazine. Next up is going to be Ree's. Next up is going to be Ree's fall magazine. Just got this in last night, y'all. Okay, so that's the Pioneer Woman. Easy recipes from the ranch. Movie night snacks, homemade pizza, crazy good cupcakes. Reese Food Network show, spooky Halloween treats, and that cute dog I forgot. What? Who's that? Walter? Meet Walter and his buddies. Walter is so cute. Can you just not kiss Walter? He is so adorable. All right, Reese. So let's see what you got for the fall. Okay, you guys. So we got L'Oreal. There we go. In case any of you guys need a touch up, there you go. I think this is. What's her name? The one, Josh. What is the one's name that played in that movie with Denzel Washington? When she was a little girl and he was protecting her? She played Dakota Fanning. I believe this is Dakota Fanning. Fanning? Oh yeah, it is. Dakota Fanning. L. Fanning. So that's L. Fanning, you guys. Dakota Fanning's sister, who is also an um, awesome actress. Okay, so let's see here. Contents. This is what's in the contents for this magazine. You guys, <gasps> Ooh, let's see. Okay, Ree's new dishes, this dish set, I really, I mean, uh, pot set, I really do love the color. And I believe it's like a pot belly, I don't know. Yeah, there you go, classic belly gra um, gradient mint 10 piece cookware. It's really pretty, I've seen it in the stores, you guys, really, really pretty set. Okay, happy fall, y'all, is what she says. And then this is what she reads here. And then next thing we have here. All right, let's get going here. Talk to me is what she says. She still got that beautiful flower print along the pages, which makes it just pop out even more. So pretty. Re answers your questions about her recipe, style, home, life, and more. And so there you go. Duke and Lucy, how cute are they? And here we go, cute cowboy, cowgirl boots. Okay, so we have that. 
right here we have um mm, Rees. uh what does that say Rees not a fan Rees not a fan of what hmm you have such a variety of recipes in your cookbook are there any foods that you don't like and so re is telling you what she's not a fan of and she's not a fan of that believe it or not i am not a huge fan of fried chicken of all the things that i choose to eat that would be toward the bottom of the list i think i may have transported fried chicken in my car once when i was newly pregnant that will turn you off of any food forever wow just because of that and you know what she is not lying she is not lying. So Ree Drummond does not like fried chicken, y'all. What? A southern girl does not like fried chicken? That is crazy. Um, and Ree's mom is pretty. Hello? Mama look good? Okay, Ree. We see your mama. She looks good. All right. I think her name is Jenny or Jerry. Mom's name is Jerry. And that's Ree's mother-in-law. Well, her name is Nim. Mama-in-law and mother and mama-in-law look alike. And they're both cute. All right, how did you learn to cook the way you do? Okay, there we go. I'm not gonna read that. I'm gonna let y'all read that. That's her answer. All right, but that is her mother and that is her mother-in-law. Good looking mama and mama-in-law. Okay, you guys, isn't this amazing how when we see her on her show, we never, never know all of that is in front of her. All of that is in front of Ree when she's doing her show, you guys. Wow, she's amazing. This is hard work. Lights, camera, dinner. That's what this article is about. All right, so now, this is behind the scenes here. Let's see, hair and makeup. That's what she does before she gets ready. Just in case drawer. That's her just in case drawer. So many tops, so little time. That's what she chooses from. And y'all, look at this, fueling up. Look at that. This girl, she, I'm telling y'all, she amazes me how she turned a blog into a business like this. Grocery games. Uh, we turned a bedroom into a pantry, y'all. So any of you guys want an idea, if you, got, you host a lot and want a big pantry, great idea, turn a bedroom into a pantry. Preferably a bedroom that's downstairs, but wouldn't that be a guest room? I guess that's one reason you can tell your guests you must leave soon. Put a bed next to the pantry <laughs> items and they'll be uncomfortable and they won't stay too long okay <laughs> just kidding you guys yes but look at that oh my gosh love it and I saw this actually on YouTube where people were actually going in visiting and let me tell y'all it is beautiful I love it okay and then we, we just don't realize how the camera is all look how big the camera is all up in her face where we be taking her little drive Look at that, that's how it looks behind the scenes, y'all. You ever wanna know? That's what this mama does. And love these bracelets, those are really, really pretty. Okay. Tara Sky, ooh, that's Walmart's new collection for plus size girls. Okay, Walmart, I see you. And so this is double take. So this is Ree's look, all right? How cute. Love that ring. That's pretty. In case you guys want to know where she got that from. And those earrings. Really, really pretty. And look at those cowgirl boots. There we go. And then this is Missy's look. Okay. I like that. That's cute. Look like they both got the same uh, top, but they're wearing it differently. Which is really, really cute. Okay, you guys. Now, oh, I love these cuffs. Oh, how pretty are they? Look at this one, you guys. That's where it's from. Look at that cuff. Isn't that not pretty? A pair of blue jeans on and a cute, nice top. You are looking really cute with some boots on, y'all. You looking cute. I love this one, too. It's a wooden cuff. And then look at this one. Rhea is really eclectic like this. That's what I love about her too. And then look at this one. And then look at this one. Just in case you guys are interested in wanting to know where did she get that cuff from? Oh, this one's pretty too. And then look at that one. And 
these two. And then last but not least, this one. Those are really pretty. And the fact that they chose that color in the background makes these all pop. I love that. And I love the font too that she's using, the different fonts. Really, really cute. Okay. Oh, this is Re Swapping Shade. So that's Re with the darker color hair. Re as a blonde. And Re as a redhead. I think Re look cute in either color. Seriously, I think she looks cute either color. All right, you guys. And this right here, she's talking about um, leather bags. This one's really cute. And I don't know what that, there we go. Can y'all see where you get that bag from? These are really cute. Here we go for that one. There we go for this one. There we go for that one. Show that again. And that's for that one. And for this one, that's that one. Am I giving you ladies bad shopping habits? But y'all know when it comes to bags, a, a girl got to share. She got to share. Because y'all know we ladies, we love our handbags. And for that one. And I love a good quality leather bag. I think out of this page, my two favorites, I love this one. And I like this one. This one's really cute. Although this one's cute too. Yeah. Okay. And then these are, she's showing you how to take care of leather boots. Love that. And you guys, leather earrings? How cute is that, right? And I love that journal. And then this is just a plain cute dress up belt. Just a plain cute dress up belt. Isn't that cute? Okay. And then welcome home. It's another beautiful floral arrangement. These are all oh, wow. So these are gourds. You have different ways you can use gourds for the holidays to dress up your tables or uh, or um, wherever you decide to put these in your home. Isn't that pretty? Really, really pretty. And then this one, Express Your Shelf. And I think anytime you guys ever get stuck and you're trying to decorate or trying to figure out what can I put on this shelf, best thing to ever do is get a design magazine, interior design magazine, or books, magazines that are out there that are all about home decorating, books like this with Reed where she's got a mixture of everything, and you could always get great ideas of how to place things. Placement is so important, you guys. I cannot wait until I finally move so that I can begin to show my um, uh, ways of decorating. Now, it's one of my greatest passions is decorating. And this right here is perfect. Just showing you different ways to place beautiful items, different items, bring them all together and put them on the shelf and look at what it does. Voila! You're done. Look at this one. Love it. Isn't that pretty? And you can find the cutest globes. So many different places. World Markets has really cute globes and they have items like this at World Markets as, uh, Market as well. Look at this one. You guys, how cute is that, right? Love it. So cute. Great ideas, you guys. You never, ever have to get stuck. You can always come to a magazine to figure out what to do. Okay, and this is vintage uh, pearl is what this called, hand stamped jewelry. I love hand stamped jewelry because it's personal. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty, that heart? I love that too. And look at this. Naughty by nature. That's cute. Look at that. The knots. Isn't that pretty? That's like boho kind of style to me a little bit. The boho look. Yes. And that's Shonda Rhimes. Hello Shonda in your cute little dress. And so this is um, in each magazine you get, you get these uh, send me one year four issues for just 18 uh, send me two years two issues for just $30 so you guys it's not that expensive and you get them seasonally and that's what I love about it is that you get them seasonally all right and this is cute even showing you how to deck look at that wallpaper isn't that pretty showing you how to decorate uh, oh wow so I'm um, this is why I'm loving this look at that do-it-yourself so cute 
Is that not adorable? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. And this is cute too. And look how they, she did this. Look at that. Talking about organization, love that. She got rolled up uh, body um, bath towels in there. And this is cute too for the dog. She's using crates. You guys, that is the cutest thing ever. Cutest idea. Okay, we got a cowgirl here. And then little ranch that could. <gasps> so cute. Her name is Debbie Zink. Had enough land. So that's Debbie Zink. And I'm wondering if she's an Oklahoma girl or a Texas girl. Oh, Oklahoma. Okay, and so this is her interior design here. Fitting for a ranch. Wow. I love the different designs of homes. I just appreciate every day. Look at that front porch. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Antlers. I just would want them made out of something, not real antlers, because I would just be upset about, like, just sad about how they got, how we got the antlers. But anyway, that's beautiful. Home cooking. That looks really good. What is that? Returns butternut squash into four great dinners. So that's one. So let's see. Buffalo chicken cheese, the family meals. So when they say she turns her four great dinners, they don't have any? Where is that at? Ooh, mini Cajun chicken pot pies, you guys, isn't it? That looks good. Lemon, garlic, shrimp, and grits. Mmm. You can never go wrong with some shrimp and grits. Okay, here we go with some of her, um, recipes and she's using her own dishes in here as well talking about marketing girl go ahead market yourself yes this is a tuscan pork supper and she's going through that stage of showing you each um one each step beef broccoli stir fry mm, doesn't that look good and then this one is slow cooker drip beef sandwiches that looks delicious for you moms out there, Friday night or one day out the week. Here we go. Turkey burger soup? Hmm, interesting. And then this one is skillet lasagna. Something simple and easy. And this one is the shrimp and grits. Love that. Mmm. This is where my interest is really mini Cajun chicken pot pies, you guys. That's what that looks like. Doesn't that look delightful and tasty? And then this one's Tex Mex grain bowls. This is very, very good. Okay, and then over here we have the butternut squash at its best. Okay, and so this is the recipe for this item here that I'm showing you. And that's the recipe for that. And then this one's butternut squash soup with bacon. That's what that looks like. Mmm. That's what that recipe is. And then this one is butternut squash mac and cheese. Mmm. Wow, that sounds interesting. Butternut squash. Butternut squash is so good. It is so versatile. You can do so much with it. You guys, ooh, look at this one. Butternut squash and black bean enchilada. Oh, okay, I will be making this definitely. I will be making this one. And so that's what that looks like. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, you guys, we're almost coming to an end. Okay, she got the Pioneer Pizzeria. Mmm. Ooh, look at that. That's a classic pizza. And that's that. Wow. One of my favorite potato and leeks. One of my favorite 
things in the world is pizza, y'all. Char loves pizza. But I, I, I like meat pizza, like with pepperoni, a little bit of sausage, but I really love just cheese. You can just give me cheese pizza with some veggies on it, and I am fine. So this is up my alley, what I see. Like this, I would eat this. Not too much meat, though. I'm not a real meaty, 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 meaty kind of person, but these look good, Ree. Really. These look really, really good. Wow, I think I've heard of these country sausages. We don't have them here in Southern California. If any of you have this in your neck of the woods, let me know if you think these sausages are good. I've seen a couple of YouTubers buy these from Walmart, um, and they say that they're really, really good. Because Jimmy Dean, I think he's lost his flavor. Jimmy Dean is not the same as it used to be back in the day. But y'all, this is me. I love this kind of pizza. Like, this is fig and arugula. Oh, that just looks so good. Doesn't it? I like any kind of pizza though, y'all. Just gonna be honest with you. Miracle Whip. I remember the old school Miracle Whip. Okay, and this is like ham sandwiches with quick pickles. I love the recipes that she gives. You guys. And that was for the cowboy. This was for the cowgirls. And this one is a ham sandwich with arugula and pesto mayo. Mm, that sounds good. I like pesto anything. Pretty pesto, pesto anything pretty much is, is delicious for me. Movie night. Love that because you guys know. Movie night is year round for me. It's not just a, a fall, winter thing. I love movie night in the summertime. I love movie night year round. But anyway, these are some great recipes of nice little movie snacks. Garlic ranch party mix. That sounds really, really good. Get that in there. Ooh, this looks good. This is uh, pepperoni queso. Uh, queso. Queso. Y'all know how to name that. Y'all know what I mean. There we go. It's queso, queso. I hear it two different ways. People say it. So it's that. Concession stand crackers. Oh, <gasps> that is cute. With the saltine crackers. So you got a little bit of salt and sweet. Okay. This would be good with Ritz too, I bet you. And then bacon is better than Bob's. So that's Bob's bacon, you guys. Good, good products, Bob's. Okay, feast your eyes. This is the cute little Halloween cookie stuff coming up. Um, look at this. Donut hose. Okay, sugar eyeballs. Sandwich cookie eyeballs. And that's what they all look like. Y'all know kids like to end Thanksgiving already. Can y'all believe that we are coming up to Thanksgiving? Lordy, lordy, lordy. And oh. This looks fantastic. Howdy's Cupcake. Um, which one is this one? We're gonna see. It's gonna tell us in there, but y'all, that looks so delicious. Okay, so this one is the basic chocolate cupcake, is what it is. It's a basic chocolate cupcake. And that is a recipe for that. Okay. And this is the mocha cupcake. So you would do the chocolate and I guess if you wanna make it mocha, you can add, um, do this recipe to bring it to mocha. Mmm, you guys remember these? Who just hates that they change the recipes on these hostess? These were my favorite cupcakes as a kid. So this is the chocolate cream cupcake, which is that, you guys. And then that one is that. And then this one is the cookies and cream cupcake. How beautiful is that? It's a really, really lovely looking. Nice for little get togethers. Okay. And that's her baby boy. He has gotten so big. He's so cute looking like his mom and his dad. Okay. And then this one is Ree's Horses. Are they? Powhuska, Oklahoma. Wow. It's a tourist destination with thousands of visitors flocking to eat at Ree's restaurant. Okay. So this is the, the area that she lives. Look at those. One of my favorite animals in the world. Oh, I love horses. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ree's kitchen. Look at this. Wow, she's showing the different 
museums and places you can visit in her hometown. Love log cabins too, you guys. I am a log cabin lover. I just love log cabins. And then we have this here in Reed's store. And I guess this is a um, ice cream place you can go to. Uh, kids corner how cute this little town it probably helped to bring a lot of business her mercantile opening up and look at this you guys look at those boots i love cowgirl boots all right my battery is about to go on so we're going to speed this up how beautiful is that different the salt creek marketplace different places that are these are all places in her hometown you guys Hideaway Pizza. I love that she's even showcasing other businesses within her community, which is very nice of you, Reed, to be thoughtful and to also bring business to other business owners. Love that. Love a girl who gives. And who doesn't love these beautiful dogs? So this is Henry. How cute is he? Oh my goodness, those eyes. Presley is adorable. Love German Shepherds. And this is Lucy. And she's for Presley is two and Henry is nine months. He's so cute. Okay, Duke is four years old. How cute is Duke? And then we have Walter. We all know who Walter is. He is seven. How cute are they? Adorable, right? Okay, and so this is Re and her baby girl. And this is how this ends. So you guys, yes. Not only is she good on her cooking channel, not only is she good with her product selling in her store, on her mercantile um, website, Reed Drummond's mercantile website, and also her mercantile store in her hometown, and now a hotel that she has. And now she has this fabulous magazine. So I want you guys to see that she's just a woman that just keeps on giving. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed these two magazines. If you like them, hope you love them. Check them out. You guys, make sure you go online. You can go to her mercantile store and hit that you want the magazine and it'll walk you through what you need to do. Or you can just look up Reed Drummond's magazine, Pioneer Woman's magazine online and the information will pop up where you can um, go ahead on and order the magazines. And like I said, they're seasonal. This one was for the fall the other one was for the summer this one is for the summer and i'm looking forward to seeing what she's going to come out with winter you guys so i hope you enjoyed that little nice uh haul and um coming up soon oh joshua in that in that pink box there's a black bag can you get it right quick i want to show you guys with my manager she went on a road trip in that pink box uh-huh and there's a black bag she went on a road trip this uh summer with her husband you see that black bag yeah that one and you guys she went to Reed drummond's restaurant but i think she went on a sunday and it was closed i believe it was but she also stopped no i think she went inside it was something that happened where she wasn't able to eat there or something but she ordered she gave me this really cute little mercantile little uh booklet cute little book where you can just put like um address stuff in there i thought it was a really really cute you can just put address stuff since you know recipes whatever i want in this little booklet but then she went by the magnolia in waco, waco texas that's another uh woman that i love i have to, i'm just now getting into her so i have to get her name so you guys know who the magnolia woman is but anyway she went to magnolia Te to the area in Magnolia, she went to the farm or the store that they have in that, that ranch area, you know, where they have the store, the bakery and all that. And she bought me this beautiful bag back, you guys. I fell in love with it. How nice was that, right? This beautiful bag. How nice is that, right? This beautiful bag. I just fell in love with it. They're another one that I've been looking at now. I wasn't watching her much. I, was, I did have much time to watch TV and still don't. But I started looking at her and I said, wait a minute. I'm like, she just had a baby. She has, I think this is her fifth baby. Her and her husband, you, you know, they redo the houses, the Magnolia. And they also have their stuff in Target, which is absolutely phenomenal. I love her items. So I was really happy that my boss got me that. And she got me this really cute little um, Pioneer Woman um, booklet. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Coming up soon, I'm going to be showing you what I read for my Bible studies. Just to keep you guys encouraged because in times like what's going on around us today, 
you know and what we going and going on in our lives day by day we need god at every moment you guys be blessed and he'll always lead you in the right direction have a good evening bye bye